Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, we're going to be taking a look at custom object icons. Now, I should note that this will not um, be an option for you if you're using uh, a version of Cinema 4D before R21. Okay, so let's uh, just jump in. If I create simple cube, like so, you'll notice that the cube has a cube icon. Uh, but this can be changed uh, in R21. So if we look at the basic tab for our cube, we've now got this uh, drop down, this icon settings. And if you drop this down, we've got icon file slash ID. We've also got icon color and load preset. So if I drop down this icon color, you've got the option of none. So it's obvious what that is. Uh, display color. Uh, if we choose this down here, we've got a display color. And if you turn that on, whatever this is, the... Uh, the icon will take on as well. So the display color for the box is this uh, kind of pinkish and so is the icon. So whatever the display color of the object is um, will also be reflected in the icon. So let's just turn that off. Or we've got a uh, option of a custom color. So as you can see, this is yellow. And the benefit of that is if you do have a display color of green, you can have the icon as a different color. Uh, so again, let's turn this off. Um, so that's the uh, color. We've also got um, a button down here called load preset. So if we uh, open this up, we can choose from some already inbuilt icons that Cinema 4D has. And uh, so let's just choose the horsey up here. And um, now that I've chosen the horse, you can see that we've got the horse icon uh, for our cube. And it's taken on the color still as well. So if we change that to something like this horrible purple, <laughs> uh, it will take on the color as well. But you'll also notice this icon file slash ID has also been populated with a number. And uh, this is the ID number for this icon. And what this means is we can actually steal any icon from any other uh, Cinema 4D item and have it as our icon for our cube. So what we've got to do is find out the ID number for one of these let's uh, say this is the cloner and the way we go about that is go to window customization customize commands and we go here and if I search for cloner and click on this you'll see that we can see the ID number down here so if we right click on this and copy the text we can now dump this in here control V to paste and if I press enter now it actually goes back to the uh, original cube icon and that's because we need to get rid of this uh, space and the ID at the beginning of the number and if we do that now and press enter you'll see that we've now got the cloners icon as our cube icon um, because we've got the correct ID in there and just as before we can change the color and um, that icon color will be affected by that let's choose something a bit stronger just to showcase it there we go um, so there you have it. Uh, something else we can do as well is if I delete this ID, so we're empty again, and uh, I don't know, put this back to white or whatever it was, uh, we can also load our own file. So if I open um, this up and uh, choose the digital meet uh, icon I've got here uh, and open it up, we'll say no to this, but you'll see that it's changed to the digital meet logo. And just as before, we can change the color of this um, to green and it will change to green as well. Something else that I should note as well, when you do choose an image, um, the image size doesn't actually matter. This image is actually, I know it's 512 by 512, but what Cinema 4D does internally is actually crush it down to a 64 by 64 um, logo so it doesn't really matter how big your image is I don't think there's any limit um, I'm not even sure it has to be square I'll have to test that but um, yeah Cinema 4D will handle the image appropriately same with uh, alpha channel as well I've got a digital meat logo here that has a alpha channel um, so if I load this up that gets evaluated and as you can see the uh, the logo is now green and it did uh, detect that alpha channel around it then crushed it down and is displaying correctly. Um, and again, we can change the color of this to anything we like. Something else that should be noted as well, we can actually toggle these on and off, and I'll come to that in a second, but um, you can do this for any object as well. So let's uh, go up to select, um, uh, actually create, create, create a null, 
and we can do the same thing here um, let's just choose one of these presets and give it a, uh, a blue color something like this um, so it works on all objects now you might find this useful if you're setting up rigs and you've got nulls uh, sort of nested in places and you've got goals and stuff like that it can really help you identify what you're looking at uh, in your object manager so I can see how it'd be a benefit there uh, like I was saying before you can actually toggle these on and off so if you go to view you can see this show custom icons at the bottom if you click that these will return to their native icons and you can turn it back on and it will still remember the settings you had uh, sort of in the background even though they're not being displayed it, it will remember those settings for your objects Something else that should be noted, it's not just objects. We can do this with tags as well. So if I make this cube, I've got editable here, and then um, go to select mode. I'm just going to make a selection. So we'll have a tag, select, uh, set selection. And you can see we've got this triangle here showing a polygon selection. If we actually go to the uh, icon settings of this, we can do the same thing. We can um, choose an icon color. Let's choose that as a green. And as you can see, that's changed to green. And we can even load a preset as well. So we can change this to the eye. Um, so that's something else to bear in mind as well. Hey, you'll notice that when I made my cube editable, the uh, icon file disappeared. And that's because it's no longer the same object, I suppose. So we can go and load that back in. And we can go choose a color again, custom make it a horrible green there we go something else you should know as well not only can we load presets but we can save presets as well so if I set this digital me icon up as our uh, let me just turn these back on again so now I've set that up and give it a color I can save that as a preset and what that will do is it will save it in a uh, folder in your content browser and that should be listed under presets and I think a new folder called uh, user is created and that's where those icons will be saved for my viewers on youtube please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials you can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials you can also follow me on social media links in the description and the footer of my website if you'd like to help support digital meet this can be done via patreon or the support page on the website but if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.